SFA, this is GF Legible from GamerFusion.com. What is going on, guys? And to welcome to another Pokemon video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get the strongest Pokemon with the best IV stats, where to get them, and how you're able to get them. But if you guys enjoy more Pokemon Go videos, make sure you guys hit that smash that like button. Let's try to get a 500 likes. I'm going to be ambitious right now. 500 likes. And if you can't get enough of Pokemon Go, make sure you click the link in the description to my second channel where I go over more Pokemon Go stuff. So let's go ahead and to dive right into this topic. So how do you get more stronger Pokemon? Well, let's first off start with how do you get Pokemon? There's officially four ways that you could definitely go ahead and get Pokemon. The first one would be with a lure module. You're going to need a lure module to actually lure these Pokemon in and get them to come to you. Then you have a incense Pokemon. You're able to get another Pokemon with some incense. Then you have the regular spawns where you're walking around your neighborhood or you're walking around in the vicinity and you get the Pokemon. And then the other one is through a hatched egg. And these are the four ways you're able to affect a Pokemon's IV. But before we get started, I think the biggest question maybe not everybody knows is what the heck is it IV, right? So let's go ahead and explain what an IV is. So each Pokemon is born with its own IV. IV stands for individual value. And not all Pokemons are the same. So that's why it's very predominant or, re or required to actually try to find as many Pokemon as you possibly can because not all of them will have its, uh, you know, the same individual value. So each type of Pokemon has a set of attributes for stamina, attack, and defense. Now, these are measured from 0 to 15. So let's say you get a Pokemon with 15 stamina. Let's say you get a Pokemon with 11 attack. And you get another Pokemon with defense. The perfect Pokemon would be 15 across the board, right? 15 stamina, 15 attack, 15 defense. And then you have your weaker Pokemon with 0 stamina, 0 attack, and 0 defense. So that's pretty much how, how it's based. It goes from 0 all the way to 15. Of course, if they all have 15, then you know you you have a hundred percent individual value within that Pokemon. When you're trying to pick decide if you should get a Pokemon or you shouldn't, you're gonna want to be shooting for a Pokemon that at least has 71 percent or 70 percent of its all values. For example purposes, let's say you have a Pokemon whose attack value is 15, his defense is 15, and his stamina is two and your level 11, then that means your Pokemon is a 71%. Now, which ones are the minimum percentiles that you need in order to get a all-around perfect Pokemon? So the average perfection, like I said, is 71%. The minimum perfection is 71.1%. And the maximum perfection is 71.1%. That is with, you know, you being an 11, a level 11. Now, the Pokemon will require at least 59 power-ups to reach level 40.5, and this would cost you about 276,000 dust and 312 candy. Now that we went ahead and covered the IV, and you guys know what IV means, let's go ahead and talk what is the best place to actually capture a Pokemon with the highest IV value. There's been a lot of speculation that lured Pokemons and Pokemons you capture with incense have a lower IV value than Pokemon who you capture in normal spawns. Now, we did a little bit of research and found out the following. If you lure a Pokemon, its IV percentile of being very high is gonna be roughly around 45%. If you use incense to capture a Pokemon, its value will be at 50%. If you go ahead and walk around and get a normal Pokemon, its normal spawn percentile is 50%. And if you get a Pokemon from a hatched egg, its perfection IV value is 85%. So there you have it, guys. If you want a Pokemon with really high IV, make sure you get your Pokemon from a hatched egg. That doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to get one from the other options, but it's more likely to get one from a hatched Pokemon egg. Now, I do want to share a tool with you that will help you guys determine the value or calculate the value of the Pokemon, and that is called Poke Assistant, and I'll leave the link down below with the IV calculator. Don't forget, guys, if you want to stay up to date to all things Pokemon, make sure you guys click on the link in the description to subscribe to my second channel where I will be uploading more Pokemon Go videos. Don't forget, guys, for all things Pokemon, stay tuned to this channel, and I will catch you guys on the next video.